the Yanks, uh, resilient as they are, go up to Boston and try to see if they can get two out of three. Let's not get greedy. Two out of three would be okay and a day off on Monday. Uh, can't lose two out of three. Can't get swept. That would be just disastrous because the Indians are winning today, 3-1 in the ninth. They have the White Sox this weekend, and the Rays are in Minnesota this weekend where you figure they'll do well. So, all right, Sweeney, let's start with Gardner. It sounds like he's gone for the season. Yeah, and I think we kind of understood that last night, Mike. As soon as they say oblique, I mean, you know this is an injury that takes weeks to heal, uh, not days. So when you've got barely over two weeks left in the season, you got to think he's done. Uh, Girardi said, I mean, Girardi tried to be optimistic about it. He said possibly. Uh, he thinks he'll be able to use him as a pinch runner uh, before you before the end of the season. And the hope is that if the Yankees get into the postseason, that you know he could be a player for them uh, because then you're talking about basically three weeks from now and maybe he's healed up. But this is a pretty big blow for them right now, Mike. I mean, you know, the, the players have come and gone. Uh, injury-wise with the Yankees. The Gardner's started over 130 games in the leadoff spot for this team. So, And he's having a terrific year. He's, he's career highs and doubles and triples and home runs. And he's obviously a, a great defensive outfielder. They're, um, it, it's a pretty big bounce back for him off of what was a loss. I don't season. think he's I irreplaceable. Think I, no, no, he's not. But he's, he's been having a really he good He has, year. but I think they get very fortunate that if I'm Joe, I plug Grandison into center field every day. Yep. Every yeah. day, get his swing down. Let him lead off and against righties. Around. It is. Let him lead off against the righties. Drop him in the order against lefties if you want. And bat Nunez lead off or somebody else, whatever you want. Bottom line is, let him play every day. Let Ichiro play uh, uh, with Wells and right. Leave him alone. And let's see if Grandison can get hot right now. And he is starting to come together. He he's had some big hits in Baltimore. He hit a monstrous home run. He had a big triple. He's starting to swing the bat. And I, I think think having Grandison there really makes this something they can live with. If they didn't have Grandison ready to plug in, that would have been a big problem. I think one of the things that you, the Yankees are fortunate to have right at this particular time and still be where they are in the race is that, you know, A-Rod and Granderson are both over 100 at bats now. So they've, they've gotten comfortable. They're, you know, they were talking about still being in spring training mode when the team was trying to fight for games yep. uh, in August. Well, you know, now they're, they're beyond that. And you can tell they're, they're both hitting the ball very they're well. Swinging they're swinging the bats great. You got, yeah. the, you got four guys at the top of this lineup now, and I'll even include Reynolds, but you got four guys in Cano, Soriano, A-Rod, and Grandison who are swinging the bats well right now. Right, you saw it in Baltimore. You know, you're not out of a game anymore. A couple of solo home runs, you're right back there, and then you're, you know, you're one or two hits away, and then a big rally uh, away. Uh, it's, it's not impossible anymore. So uh, that's what they're counting on. They are fortunate that that Granderson and Arod have uh, have not taken any steps back. That they're right there. Their swing is where it is. I, you know, I didn't think they could afford to let those guys ease into. You know this part because the games are so important. But they've they've gotten to a point in the season now where, where you know they're they're regular players now. And they need every bit of them. I think you're right. Granderson basically becomes your center fielder. Yep. I could see only certain days depending on the lefty matchup. Maybe he would play Ichiro over Granderson with Wells and right. Uh, but for the most part, I would say this is this is a time for Granderson to uh, I agree to, to take his the swing that he's found recently and just make it last for the next two weeks. All right, Sweeney. Um couple of things, and it has to do with extending key pitchers. Kuroda went 117 pitches in six innings on Sunday. He's looked very tired. They pushed him last Sunday. He had a 50-pitch, a 49-pitch second inning. He went 117 in six innings. Any, any problem do you think tonight with that? I mean, is there a chance tonight he really – I mean, do, you wear, do they worry that this really could have an effect? That was the high number for the year, and he has been a tired pitcher. How does that impact him this evening? Well, here's part of the problem, Mike, is that he's on uh, – they haven't had an off day to, uh, to stretch him, so he's on normal rest off of this, uh, off of that game that you're talking about. Uh, and the Yankees are short in their bullpen. So, I mean, they – you would love for him to go out there and give you seven or eight, which means you might have to stretch him close to that again. But I'm not sure that they're that they're able to do that. I think they'll start looking at his effectiveness probably after you know when he gets close to around 90. They'll start checking his effectiveness. I mean, you could run him out there for that number of pitches, Mike, but you know you might be doing more more harm than good 
uh, if you let him go too far close to that, you know, 115, 120 number. So All right, how about I, I just Robinson? think he quick innings. How about – which you don't get with the Red Sox, which we know. Right, uh, and right. They, and they, they know that, and they're going to make him pitch. They're going to make him throw pitches. Yeah. How about Robinson tonight off that rough night last night? How about Mariano, who has been pushed really to the brink here the last couple of days? Yeah, neither one, Mike. I mean, Robertson's two in a row, basically three in a row if you count his work day. So neither two. one tonight. Yeah. Correct. Wow. And the Mariano's four out of five. Wow. You know. So who closes really tonight? Who closes? You know, it, it, it'll depend on the matchups. It'll really depend. It's going to depend on where they are, left, wow. right, things like that. Yeah. Man, that's uh, unbelievable. I mean, it's so the Red Sox know that going in tonight, man. They know that gonna, if they can push the pitch limit on this guy, they really uh, the Yankees. I mean, this is why this series is so tough this weekend. I mean, it yeah. really is. I mean, the bullpen's overextended. The starting pitches are tired. They're throwing Lester and. and Buckholtz on the back end of this. I mean, that makes this. I mean, if the Yanks could get two out of three out of here, it would be unbelievable. And even without what we were talking about with Corona, you know how these series go, how these games go. Even if you had uh, a fully effective and, and rested Corona, they're still, you know, not having Robertson Rivera still really. Uh, hurts it, the way yeah, you, it makes you it terrible because you know how tough this team is to try and close out. Closing this yeah. team out's impossible in the last three innings. 